Flower. Good evening. This is Bell Geode, and we are back with some DCS World Digital Combat Simulator. Woohoo! All right, so we are up to part five of Trailer's Campaign, A Bitter Pill. And for tonight's part, he actually has something a little special for us. We're going to be getting back into an old friend, the Su-27. For those of you who have been watching my DCS videos from the very beginning, you remember that I was flying with the Russians as uh, Cherny Rossi, which literally translated means the Black Russian. And I actually set Cherny Rossi up in the pilot log to be Ukrainian. So even though he was flying for the Russians, technically he was Ukrainian. So since this story is a little bit different, which eventually I am going to record like um, a kind of a background video to add to this series so you have an idea of why this campaign is the way it is. Um, but to add to this mission, Ukraine is now friendly with NATO and the U.S. So they're actually fighting against Mother Russia. All right, so let's see what we're going to get into here. We'll go ahead and read the description. It says, satellite imagery shows Russian armor movement around Verny Zaramag. Don't even ask me if I'm pronouncing that correct, but that's as good as it's going to get. Which is a remote village about 40 nautical miles southwest of Bezlan. The general consensus is that Russian forces are trying to make a slow, careful, but arduous ground push north to try and take either Bezlan or Nalchik in an attempt to gain ground and hold it for a bigger push north in the very near future. The Russians are using the terrain in the valley to their advantage by concealing their movements, so we need to get eyes on exactly what's going on. We also assess that they're moving an SA-11 site through the valley as well, although they've yet to get it fully functional, probably due to keeping a low profile. Keep your head on a swivel while performing reconnaissance in the area, as we don't know exactly what they're employing. Ooh, this stuff is starting to ramp up. Trailer, I'm loving this here. Kudos to you for creating this. All right, so let's get to our task. Overview. Due to the massive influx of support and funds from NATO partners, the Ukrainian Air Force has been able to seriously revamp its capabilities and become a powerful regional force in the years following the Crimean incursion. This is an opportunity to prove that the Ukraine isn't just a solid partner in NATO, but that the 831st Brigade's flanker squadron is a force to be reckoned with. All eyes will be on the Ukrainian Air Force in the coming days and weeks, so this is the time to rise to the occasion and prove your worth. No pressure. Oh yeah. So yes, we will be seeing Cherny Rossi and of course his trusty wingmen, Crazy Ivan and Bad Boris in this episode. Gotta love it. It's like things are coming full circle again. The only thing we're missing now are the Diavoli planes. Alright, so our task, your flight of three Su-27s, Flight 118, will take off from Mozdok with a four-ship of Eagles, or Chevy flight. Proceed to waypoint three, where you will attempt to visually acquire any Russian forces. Chevy flight will be orbiting in a cap in case Russian fighters attempt to engage you. It's not recommended to loiter, as we're not sure exactly what type of forces you can expect. Follow along your waypoint route, make a single pass overhead, and RTB. It's recommended to drag any hostile aircraft north into the WEZ of our Patriot batteries instead of engaging them yourself. However, your cleared weapons hot if need be. Be advised, there is an SA-11 site on the move in the area, although it hasn't been active. However, that doesn't mean that today won't be the day it becomes operational. Famous last words and all that. Okay, so here's the fine-tuned details here. We are cleared weapons hot, although not recommended. Mission start time is 1630. We have AWACS available. That's going to be Overlord again. You remember we saved his ass last time against the uh, Fox Bats. Package elements, uh, we've got three Su-27s as Flight 118, and we've got four F-15s from the Red Hawks as Flight Chevy 11. And just so you're aware, I've named the guys that are going to be flying with the Red Hawks tonight. Uh, we have Maverick, who will be taking the lead. He'll be in a number one plane. We have Sundown as his trusty wingman, number two. Three and four are going to be the newcomers to the game. We've got Jester flying in number three. And we've got Hollywood in number four. So yeah, we'll be seeing those guys too. Okay, so the plan is to take off, follow the waypoint, follow the waypoint, visually acquire any hostile forces around waypoint three, 
get off target around waypoint four, and then land. If we run into any trouble, we've got some R73s, R27ERs, and R27ETs with which to use. All right, so are you ready? I know I'm ready. Let's get back to this beautiful bird, and let's get to work. Oh man, it feels like ages since I've been in here. Oh, Overlord is on station. Cool beans. And I'm already hearing the thunder of the eagles, so it looks like Maverick and Sundown should be taking off any second now from that runway. Alright, well let's go ahead and get started up while we're waiting for these guys to launch. Okay, there's our external view, and I hear them coming. There they go. It's Maverick and Sundown. Very nice, very nice. Nice takeoff, boys. I'll be sure to tell Bell Geo that you did a great job today. And if you look to my right, you can see Crazy Ivan and Bad Boris. Woohoo! Okay, so let's go ahead and get clearance to start the engines. We'll get the show on the road here. Meanwhile, we'll take a look at these two guys, Jester and Hollywood. Alright, cool beans, cleared for startup. Okay, I'm going to work on that here in a second. Sweet, so those guys should be overflying the airport shortly and heading off to waypoint one. As for me, uh, it looks like my controls are finally coming active, so let's go ahead and do the usual flight controls check here. Hang on, let me just uh, set this up. There we go, okay. That looks good. Alright, so we got the ailerons, we got the elevators, rudders. Let's check the speed brakes. Damn, that takes forever to open up. Holy crap. Uh, I don't know if that's an issue there. Hmm. And flaps. Okay, we're good to go. Assistant. And as usual, I'm going to start rolling out before they respond to me. Ivan and Bar should follow me. Oh, there they are. Hmm. Okay, Ivan and Bar are rolling, and here comes the Eagles. Nice. I'm going to do a lot of uh, splitting up here, so you'll see the view from the Sioux and you'll see the view from the Eagles. Should be interesting. Alright. Ooh, look at that! Got some B1B Lancers here. Talk about the tall, svelte blonde in a room. Very nice. I love the Lancer. Excellent bomber. And looks like we've also got a C-17 Globemaster. I've actually been in the cockpit of one of those suckers. That is really awesome looking. Very nice cargo plane there. So cool. Looks like we're going to be using Mozdoc as a base of operations for a little while here. I don't know if um, the rest of us are going to be back in uh, Novorossiysk or Sochi. Oh, what's going on there? Aha, uh -huh. we got bogeys airborne. Okay, we're going to take a look at them in a second here. Because if I remember correctly, we should be going up against uh, Russian MiGs launching from uh, either Sanaki or Tbilisi. We'll check in a second here. Okay, there's one MiG. There's the other MiG. Okay, so there's definitely two of those suckers flying. Looks like they're doing a cap right now, combat air patrol. So hopefully we won't need to run into them on our way in. And as for us, uh, let's see, we're going to go ahead and get some takeoff clearance here. I know this is going to be a little short. I don't want to go all the way to the end because I know I've got enough power to take off in such a short distance here. So as soon as I reach the threshold of the runway here, We'll go ahead and call for clearance. Assistant, 118th, 
Enemy, make sure that uh, Ivan and Boris are with me. Alright, well, first we'll line up and then I'll check on them, guys. Okay, right here looks good. Come on, baby, turn. There we go, that's the ticket. Okay, now let's take a look at the guys. There they are. Look at that. Wow. It's been a while since I've seen this camo, too. I love this digital camo that they've got. Alright. No time like the present to get started. Sue so, breaks down, throttles up, and we are off like a prom dress. Okay, let's see if I can keep it on a center line this time. I'm um, trying to remember what the takeoff speed. I want to say maybe it's 270. Yeah, I think it's 270. Okay, right here looks good. Let's go ahead and rotate. Good deal. Alright, positive rate of climb established, so gear is coming up. And while we're at it, we'll work on getting those flaps up as well. Very good, very good. Okay, so now all we need are Ivan and Boris to go airborne. And speak of the devil. Oh hell, they're both taking off at the same time. Awesome! That's the first. Usually one waits till the other takes off. But this is great. I'm glad they're both taking off at the same time because that means they're not going to be too far behind me when it comes to joining up. Okay, so Ivan's gear up. And he should be rejoining any second here. There he goes. Bar should be gear up now. There he is. And he should be rejoining. Cool beans. Okay, so it's going to take us a little while to uh, get back together here. So while that's going on, I'm just going to make sure that I am staying kind of low to the deck here because this is supposed to be like a low recon pass for this mission. So I don't want to get too high up and I also don't want to call attention to ourselves with those MiGs over there because that could end pretty badly. And that's exactly why we've got the Eagles here. MiGs start to get froggy, we're going after them. Okay, I am a little bit off-center. I really don't want to try the autopilot, because, honestly, I forget exactly how it works in the, in the Su-27. So I'm going to have to, like, get a refresher course here. I should have done that before I actually recorded this, but you know what? I just like doing it by the seat of my pants. Okay, what do we have here? Alright, so they're at 100 out. I'm assuming 100 miles. There's definitely a two-ship up there. We did confirm that earlier, so yeah, that's fine. And we're just waiting to hear if um, our boys with Red Hawks are going to be on station. And look, here comes Ivan. I see Boris. Okay, I think they're close enough that I can go ahead and turn the lights off because we'll be in formation in a second here. So let me go ahead and do that. All right. Chevy one passing waypoint two at. 30, oh, there we go, right on cue. Maverick and the boys are at Chevy waypoint two. On station at bullseye one zero nine four two hundred thirty at thirty. Very nice. So they'll be orbiting a while now. And there they go. All right, guys, hold it together. Just because Belgeo ain't there with you doesn't mean that you have to fly all over the freaking sky. Keep it together. Meanwhile, back on the farm. Ah, uh, look at that. There's Boris. Boris is in position. Very nice, Boris. Ivan! There he is. Normally, Ivan's the first one in position. I don't know what's up with him today. Hmm. But there you can see Bezlan up ahead. That is our divert field. In case we run into some serious problems and can't make it all the way back to Mozdok, we can land here in Beslan. Hopefully, we won't need to. There you go. That'll be a better idea. Of 
what the area looks like. I'm thinking that would be a that would be a perfect picture right there, so that might be our title shot. Okay, so next stop, the mountains of the Caucasus. I think that's how you pronounce it. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Alright, so here we go. Recon on. That's a few minutes later now, and we are over the mountains. Or at least the start of the mountains. We're still a little ways off from the next waypoint. So I'm just going to kind of use the terrain to mask us here. Because remember, we're trying to hide from the MiG-29s. So we don't want to draw their attention. So as long as Boris and Ivan are still with me, we should be good to go. Yeah, it looks like they're with me on the radar there. Alright, I'm going to swing us back around and get on the flight path. Looks like we've got about uh, 23 kilometers till we hit the next waypoint. We should be good. Love the mountain country in this area. Really awesome. Okay, Boris is there. Ivan is there. All right. We're doing good. Holy crap. 70. Oh boy. Well, I hope them eagles are ready. Hmm. Well, if they break 50, this whole party might be over. Actually, I have an idea. You'll see a little bit later on, but I have an idea. Okay. Yep, sure enough, it looks like they are coming to investigate. They're heading to our neighborhood. That is no bueno. That is no bueno at all. Alright, what else do we have here? Looks like just the two ship. Well, that's not too bad, I guess. Oh, snap! Did not expect that. Oh, crap. What is this, another two ship here? Oh, hell no. Are you kidding me? There's another four ship out there? Oh, great. Well, it looks like Maverick has decided he wants to go fishing, so... Okay, you do your thing, boys. We are going to stick to this recon mission, and I am off course. Great, so we've got six MiGs that we could possibly have to contend with here. Uh, as soon as I make this waypoint and cut this right, we're going to need to put the pedal to the metal here and see if we can get to that recon point. This should be waypoint two here. Alright, uh, no big mountain peaks in the way. Can't really tell. Uh, we got one, but it looks like this is where I need to be. Okay, I'm straightening up. Hope I didn't throw the guys off too much with that maneuver there. Actually, where are the guys? Oh, hell, they're way behind me. Uh, never mind. They'll catch up. They always do. Okay, so we got some pretty high mountain ranges and some pretty low flying, as I like to call it, down in the weeds with my hair on fire. And Ivan's got a spike. Oh, that's our MiG buddies there. Uh, okay, you know what? We're going to get a little bit closer to the deck here. Ivan Boris, make sure you're in position, buddies. What I'm thinking of doing here is, as soon as we get closer to this waypoint, I'm going to send Ivan and Boris trail, so that way they can get their own visuals. Alright, there's Boris. Where the hell's Ivan? Oh, there he is. He's up there. Come on down, man. This whole party will be for nothing if they see us. Okay, so we are dead on target here. Yeah, now would be a good time to send them trail. Alright, I'm going to slow down just a touch here and take a look, see what I can see. This should be our recon point right here. Alright, what do we have? Okay, I got visual on, looks like two artillery pieces, and holy hell, look at that line of tanks on the road! 
Damn, there's like seven or eight of them suckers down there. What the hell are those? T-90s? Ooh, mission successful. All right, well. Very good, very good. Okay, let's get the hell out of here before they have a chance to radio the mix. Okay, Ivan's got visual on him. Perfect, perfect. All right, boys, let's pull it together here. We need to get the hell out of this neighborhood. We need to get back home, report our findings, and call it done. All right, guys, let's go. Let's go echelon right this time. Yeah, because I can't really put him back in finger four. And like I said, I've got an idea. Follow me on this one. I've never done this before in DCS, but check this out. Why, hello! I am now Maverick! How about them apples? And you notice as soon as I switched planes, 118 is now RTB. So those guys are pretty much going to follow the pre-programmed flight path that uh, Trailer put in the campaign. So they're going to be heading back to base, and now I am in control of the Eagles. So you know what we're doing next? We're going hunting. Alright, I need a bogey dope. Overlord, Chevy, 1-1. One, one. Request Give me bogey a bogey dope. dope. Give me a bogey dope. Chevy, 1-1. One, one. Overlord, 70, okay. So they turned around. They're still they're still at 70 miles, but now they're cold, which means they're heading away from us. Um, yeah. I don't know about all that. I think it's time for fights on, you know? That's what Maverick would do. Alright, they've got to be around here somewhere. I thought I saw them over the mountains. Hmm. might need to call for another bogey dope here. I really want to track these suckers down. I know the two ship's already airborne. I don't think the four ship's airborne yet. Oh, wait, what is this? Look at that, my RWR just sprang to life. Okay, we have two contacts dead ahead. All right, let's go ahead and put the music on. Flight, music on. Okay, that's good. That's good. And Jester? That's good. Alright. So we got the music on. It's going to take them a little while to check their radars and figure out, oh, we're coming. Meantime, we have a general idea where they are, so I'm just going to keep heading this way here. And it looks like everybody is in echelon right, so okay, we are good to go. I don't see anybody on this side, so yeah, they're all in echelon right. Good deal. Okay, well I have my radar on, so I'm thinking the guys should probably put theirs on as well. We'll hold off on that for a second here. I want to see if I can at least find these suckers. Mm, I should probably call for another bogey dope or something. Oh, wait a minute. Sundown's got him. Well, just to be on the safe side here. Radar on, guys. And there he is. Look at that. Come on. Lock him up. Lock him up. Zoom in just a touch here. Come on, baby. Got him. Ha! Got him. Okay. What's on your mind, buddy? Are you coming towards me or going away? Oh, where the hell did he go? He just dropped off. Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, he's heading straight for me. Okay, so we are head to head on this sucker. Mm-hmm. It's about to be fights on. Mudspy. Mud oh, that's the um the stuff that the Su-27 has just reconned. Okay, well, we're not going to worry about that because they are clearly not ready to attack us. So we're just going to fly right past them here. Oh, damn it, I lost them again. Freaking A. All right, you know what? I do need a bogey dope. Overlord, Chevy, one, one. Dope. And I've got the radar set to flood mode here because of that, uh... Chevy one, one. Overlord. Clean! 
clean my ass. No, it's right over here. I see him now. Come on, baby, lock up, lock up. That's the thing I like about Flood, it'll automatically lock. Oh, I tally him as well, and it's about time to get this party started. Fox 3! Come on, baby, hit. Ah, went for the chaff. Damn it. Okay, well, if at first you don't succeed, then Fox 2! Boom, flower! Oh, wow, that didn't kill him, though. It hit him, but it didn't kill him. Alright, um, go ahead guys, you're off the leash. Now if I can just swing myself around, come on baby. Ugh, losing too much airspeed here, this is not good. Not with MiG-29, so those suckers are nimble. Speaking of which, where in the hell are they? Oh, wait, 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 I think I got him. Alright, thank you Overlord, I know what to do. We got this guy dead to rights. He is leaking fluid all over the place. Oh yeah, baby. You are going down, my friend. Here we go. Alright, two, you are with me. This is good. Now wait, is that truly my hostile? Hold on, let me see if I can get uh, AWACS to declare here. I don't want to shoot him down just yet, because it could be one of my guys injured. Contact this hostile. That's all I needed to hear. Here we go, Fox 3. That is not my missile. There we go, that's my missile. And what's the verdict? Boom, flower! That's a kill right there. Woohoo! Okay, where's that other one? Is it around here somewhere? Oh shit, I'm blacking out. That's not good. Um, guys? I need some help here. I hope you guys are backing me up. That would be awesome. Overlord, Chevy, one, one. Clean. Alright, Overlord, you're just flat out lying to me at this point. Okay, that's one of my guys there. Yeah, there's one. There's another. We're missing one. And we're also missing a MiG. There's got to be another MiG around here somewhere. I don't know where the hell this sucker is, but... Oh, wait, no, I just saw him. It's just off to the left, maybe? He disappeared off my RWR again. Son of a bitch. Ah, oh, shit, he's to the right! Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Let's see if we can turn to the right and engage him. Hopefully, 2, 3, and 4 will get back into formation and cover me. It's Maverick's time to shine, baby. It is Maverick's time to shine. Let's do this shit. There he is. Oh, wait. Where the hell did he go again? That son of a bitch. Chevy 1 1, Overlord. Bra. Whoa, 0 2 6 for 1? Oh, shit. He's like right behind me. Oh, uh, snap. This is not good. This is not good. 12 o'clock spike, okay, um, where the hell is he? Can anybody see him? I can't see him. Right what the f- Oh my god, I am so boned. I just lost my right engine, it's on fire. Okay, let's kill that sucker. Uh, two, can you cover me please? Thank you. I really would appreciate it. Holy fuck! I did not fire that missile. That was two. Almost had some friendly fire there. Kill him already! God damn it! Thank you! Oh my god. Great, so now I've got one engine on this sucker. Sayonara, buddy. Oh, shit. Okay, so we've got four more MiGs coming in. Crap, they're heading straight for us. Okay, that's definitely not good. And Betty, yes, I get the point. The plane is all kinds of fucked up, and I need to turn you off. 
because you're just gonna annoy the piss out of me. Look at that side. Holy crap, there's paint chipped off in my plane here. Alright, you know what? Betty, shut up. I don't need your bitching today. Alright guys, stay in formation. We're gonna make a run for it here. I don't feel like tangling with these four planes here. Unless they break like 70 miles, in which case, fight's on. Ah. Shit, there they are. Look at that, they're conning right now. Okay, everybody appears to be in position. This is good. I might be able to limp this plane back home here. Just hoping those guys don't decide to come after us. Well, if nothing else, at least I got one kill. Or technically, Mavericks got one kill. Sundown got the other. All right, what do we have here? Oh, those guys are those guys are full afterburner. Meanwhile, back on the farm. Ah, uh, looks like Boris there. Oh, looks like they're all home. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad you guys made it safely. Now we have to. Uh, oh, crap. You know what? They are heading for us. Shit. Okay. There's no two ways around it. Go ahead, guys. You're off the leash. Engage. Yeah, they're definitely coming for this. Look at that. They're jamming. They know we're here. They're coming for us. Um, this is self-defense here. Shit. Well, as long as this thing's still flying and I still got missiles... See what I can still do. Okay, so far nothing's locked up. Alright, keep doing that Fox 3 business there, Hollywood. Oh shit, they're launching missiles. Okay, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Alright. I might be able to lock them up and then just break off. Here we go. I got it. Fox 3. Delayed reaction there. Oh, wow, I hit him. Or somebody hit him. Oh, no, that was Sundown that hit him. My missile was useless. Okay, well, I don't know why I did that then. Alright, come on, Jester. Show me some of that Top Gun goodness here. We don't want to say Jester's dead. Oh, shit. Okay, you know what? They are launching missiles galore at me. I am hitting the deck. Look at me limping down here with one engine. <laughs> Chaffin flare. Okay, I'm going to notch, like, right here. Oh, shit. <laughs> it doesn't want to turn left. Oh, I'm so screwed. I am so screwed. Come on, guys. Keep them busy up there. I'm trying to, like, uh, you know, take some cover. <sighs> Launching missiles all over the place. Okay, I think that's hostile. Yeah, that's definitely hostile. Okay, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Come on, lock up. Fox 3! From inverted position. I just hope it hits. On. Give me something. Give me something. What's the verdict here? That's a boom flower. Yes. Nice. Nice. Splash one. Very nice. Okay, that's a friendly. I don't want to lock that up. All right, so where the hell are the rest of these guys? There's got to be two left. Yeah, there's two left. Meanwhile, those guys are still landing. Okay. All four of us are still alive. This is good. I like this. Alright, boys. Uh, let's go ahead and rejoin. Oh, that was uh, Hollywood confirming the splash. Okay, I see him. I see him. It's at my 12. Alright, we're going for it. We are going for it. Oh, another missile launch. Damn it! Okay. Come on, baby. Quit wobbling. Son of a bitch. I'm taking the shot. Fox 3. Ah, 
I don't even care if that hits. I need more airspeed right now. Somebody cover me, please. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Did that not hit? I don't think that hit. No, it did hit. I don't think it killed him, but it hit him. Uh, let's try another one here. Fox 3. That's a hit. Splash one, very nice. Ah, oh, sweet. Looks like uh, Hollywood got one too. Okay, that should be all of them. Yep, I got no bandits on my little cycle through camera thingy there. Ooh. Okay, now I can breathe a little bit easier here. That was kind of tense, folks. Although it's not over yet because I still have one engine and a long ways to go. Look at that sucker. I'm like full afterburner here just to try and make it over this peak. Look at my speed. That is dangerously low. Okay, yeah, I'm just keeping it on full burners here. The guys will form up whenever they do. That's fine. I just want to make it over this peak. The rest of this should be gravy. I should be able to make this sucker home. I hope. Wait, do I have enough gas? Oh, hell, I got plenty of gas. Plus, I've got one engine sipping gas, so yeah, this should do the trick. Okay, well, I think the moral of today's story is never fly Maverick's plane. Apparently, Maverick's plane is jinxed. Seriously. The plane is like nothing but bad luck. Alright, well, I made it on top of the peak with a few inches to spare, so we're good there. Just need to get over the other side. Um, I can't tell if this peak... You know what? I might need to go to the side of this peak, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see if we can gingerly move this plane to the side. So he must have hit me with, like, a, a heat-seeking missile or something, because it only took out the right engine. The left engine was still fine. Of course... All of my little uh, caution lights at the bottom there are lit up like a Christmas tree, so I don't know what exactly I've lost. I haven't had a chance to check it just yet. Alright, this looks like smooth sailing. Now I just need to point myself in the direction of Mozdok, and we are heading home. Guys, where are you? There's one, there's two... Oh, these guys are already home. Okay, there's one. There's two, and there's three. Okay, so we're all here. Cool. Whew, we all survived. Very nice. Look at that. Nothing but friendly planes. I'm loving it. Alright, now would be a good time. Bingo fuel. Oh, shit. Bingo fuel. Alright, you know what? Guys, RTB. Flight. RTB. You done did good. Everybody got a kill, at least one kill. You done did good. Okay. So next stop, Mozdok. See if I can land this sucker. I hope I've got landing gear. Wow. My poor plane. Jeez. Always Maverick. It's always Maverick. You notice that? Whenever something goes wrong, it's never any of the other people in the Red Hawks. It's always freaking Maverick. I swear, I'm never flying his plane ever again. Meanwhile, back at Moz Dock, here we have Boris coming in. It looks like Cherny Rossi has already landed. And I see somebody on the runway. I can only assume that's Ivan, so good deal. As soon as Boris comes down, that will be it for their recon mission. So yeah, did an excellent job on the recon mission. Thank you so much, Trailer, for that. Of course, I don't think he really anticipated me switching planes in the middle of the mission there. Like I said, it's an idea I've always wanted to try, and I figure, you know, I can fly both planes. Why not? Why not? Alrighty, Mr. Boris, you are coming in. This is a good thing. So all we need to do is to get my birds in, and then we should be good to go. 
So you know what? I'm thinking we should actually start wrapping up here. So as always, if you've enjoyed uh, this flight, if you've enjoyed this mission, feel free to click like on this video before you leave. Don't forget to subscribe. That way you'll get notifications of when I put up uh, any of these videos, whether it be DCS World, Microsoft Flight Simulator X, Black Desert, um, or any of the other games that I play. And, of course, don't forget you can find me on Twitch, www.twitch.tv slash Belgeode. Same thing for Hitbox, www.hitbox.tv slash Belgeode. Facebook at 20, Belgeode 2015, Twitter at Belgeode. Okay, so we've got the final tally up here. And it looks like the only kills came from the Red Hawks. Me playing as Maverick, I got two kills. Sundown got two kills. Jester got one kill, and Hollywood got one. Mig gets credited with half a kill, because sorry, son, you're going to have to try harder than that to get me down. Okay, so we are just about there. It's a few minutes later. Oh, shit. <laughs> Four is out of gas. Okay, well, Hollywood needs to land, and quite frankly, so do the rest of us. So, uh, let me see if I can call the tower here. I'm going down first, though, because I've got one engine, damn it. I got priority. Okay, good deal. Except for one minor detail, I am going way too fast again. Almost 400 knots. That is no bueno. Alright, here's how we fix that. Speed brakes. I said speed brakes. Oh, shit. Hydraulics are gone. Um. Yeah, okay, I'll contact the tower, but, um, Houston, we have a problem here. I've got no hydraulics to operate my speed brakes. I don't even know if the flaps in the gear are working, either. Actually, you know what? Since I've got to bleed off this excess speed anyway, now would be a good time to start putting the gear out, assuming they will come out. Come on, gear! Give me some gear! Oh, thank goodness. I've got gear. Okay, so then the only thing I need to worry about then is flaps. Hope the brake line wasn't cut either. That's gonna be real interesting. Holy shit, I am like so off course. Okay, let me see if I can bleed off the rest of this speed. I'm gonna warn you from now, people, this is not gonna be a pretty landing. Don't judge me. I've got one frickin' engine and hardly any hydraulics left, so yeah, if I can put this sucker down without going kaboom, it'll be a miracle. Alright, come on, baby, come on. Uh, yeah, Mazdoc, it's not my landing gear I'm worried about. There goes Boris. Hi, Boris. Okay, come on, bird, get down. Still coming in way too fast. Alright, flare. Holy hell, I'm down. Okay, brakes. I said brakes. Brakes, pretty please? Oh shit, I got no brakes either. Um, well, now would be a good time to put my head between my legs and kiss my ass goodbye. Or not. Or not. No, I think we can pull this off. Okay, good. I'm on the grass. This is good. This is very good. And what the hell was that sound? Hold on a second. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, taxi to parking area. That's easy for you to say, son. This is my parking area. Holy hell. And I just realized I didn't even turn on my lights. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, so the moral of the story is never, ever, ever fly Maverick's plane. It is cursed. It is freaking bad luck. And there is no way I'm moving this sucker. So you know what? Thanks for watching. Ciao! <laughs>